welcome to Crafty Little Things, I'm Andrea and I just wanted to show you a few little things that I've bought. It's Friday so it's haul day, review day, whatever. Um, these are so cute. They're for um, some little charms that we're going to be making for the Ben's Beanies project and I just love them. They're, they're little um, craft themed ones. These are a little bit better quality, they're a little bit heavier. They're in Tibetan silver. You've got the yarn ball and they've got the little um, lobster clasp. Is it the lobster clasp on there? They've got You've got the yarn ball, the yarn with the needles through it, the scissors, which are so cute. I love knitting and the little jumper there. They're beautiful and they're for little charms that we're going to be making as giveaway sort of key rings. Then I've got these ones. I think they were, I think they were two pound. And then I got this, these, which were a pound, I think. I'm pretty sure they were just a pound for all of these. And then I got these little bees. Aren't they cute? For Ben's beanies. And they're going to go on as well. And I think they were, I think they were 99p for five. Got the bee on both sides. And... I think they were 99p. I'm pretty sure they were. I know they were ridiculously cheap. And I've got five they packs of those. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, you can get them in any letter. And they're just going to go on the charms with the other bits and bobs. Then I had a little bit of a spree. Um, and it's only a little spree because I don't do massive sprees. Um, I'm a bit frugal. <laughs> Um, but I had a little bit of a hobby craft spree so I'm just going to show you what I got from there now I got everything that I got from hobby craft I got 15% off because um, I had a voucher code so I'll get my bill out for it and um, tell you what I got right first thing I got was this um, Hell's Couple Ditch um Christmas Village paper and it is gorgeous it's 8 by 8 and you get 36 sheets 3 sheets of 12 designs and 6 of the designs are glittered and it's gorgeous I mean even the, the, the front you could cut that off and use that little glittered bit there you could use these little bits it, but it is absolutely lovely and what I like about it is that I only buy um, Stampin' Up cardstock and it'll work really well with some Stampin' Up colours I mean that'll work well with Mint Macaron with Pool Party that would work well with um, the one-sided as well and as you, you probably know that I quite like one-sided because I don't like it when I have to make a choice between two patterns I love um, that lovely sort of snowy polka dot that would work really well with um, uh, cherry cobbler then you've got this gorgeous glittered relief design which is absolutely beautiful these garlands with the hearts on um, again that would work well with mint macaron or it would work well with um, garden green or with cherry cobbler it's absolutely gorgeous um, there you have just some normal stripy paper, which is always nice to use as a background. This beautiful paper, it looks black, but it's not... Well, I think it, it might be a really, really, really dark purple, but there's definitely purple dotted around the flowers, uh, the, the snowflakes. It's absolutely gorgeous, and they're all glittered. So that would go with white, it'd go with black, it'd go with... Um, some of the purples this again would go really nicely with real red you could pick out any of these colors really because there's lots of like an old, old olive color in there there's a cherry cobbler color in there there's a pacific point sort of color in there so that would go really nice and it's a gorgeous paper christmasy paper this look at this the letters to mr polar bear and mr bear at um and the penguins at the North Pole and the snowman and everyone again you know you can see the colours there that are going to work this is beautiful and obviously this is going to go really well with um, 
one of the current sweets from Stampin' Up. And I also bought, recently you might have seen me haul them, some um, little lantern um, embellishments, which will go really nice with that. And when I get my um, Stampin' Up stamp set that I've ordered, that will go really well with that. This will go nice with Cajun Craze. It's a really lovely colour. This is beautiful and again there's so many colours you could pick out of there and this could be used as it is or it could be used in strips like a thick washi tape or ribbon or it's absolutely beautiful. And then these circles they could be punched out or it could be used as a background. So pretty. Um, and then finally we've got this toys one which is really cute. It's so, oh I can remember having a bike like that myself. Sort of very sort of traditional 1970s kids toys I guess. So cute. So that was a real bargain. That was um, £5.95 with my 15% discount. And it's really good quality. Um, it's 150 GSM so it's really nice quality. You're, you're getting closer to more like a card stock than a, a paper there. So I can't wait to use some of that and I will be using some of that very soon. I'm going to be doing a series of Christmas craft fair ideas. So that's going to come in handy for that. And I'm also going to be making a Christmas um, album. So I need to choose my theme for that as well. Uh, it could be this one, who knows. Now to go with that, I also got this die and um, stamp set. Now this was four twenty five with my discount, which wasn't bad at all, considering you get the three little dies and the five um, stamps here. It's so cute, um, and like that could be used to cut out the the penguins in in there too, and that could be used to cut out things in there too. So, and, and I haven't got, this is quite a popular sort of shape, but I haven't got a die or, or a punch that's that shape. So that'll be really useful. Um, next thing I got was a couple of um, embellishment stuff. I got this, which was 85p, this trio of glitter and snow. Um, it's got the snow there, then it's got the, the white glitter and the silver glitter. And it's a very fine glitter, so that's going to be really useful. Um, I've got these rhinestones, which are gorgeous. There's 80 in the pack, and these were, I think these were 85p as well. Oh, these were £1.27. And you get the flowers. Look at that. The flowers are beautiful. And they'll be fantastic for something I'm doing this week. And then you've got the rhinestones. I love stamping up rhinestones, but they don't do massive ones and I wanted some big ones for something so that's why I really got that. really pretty and they do it in purples and greens and silvers and golds and everything else um so for 255 that's a real bargain I'm gonna turn well I'll put these on top of it so it's not glaring um I'll leave it like that okay but that's really gorgeous and what I wanted that for was I wanted to make my own Christmas confetti Yeah, I wanted to make my own Christmas confetti. And to make that, I bought these little punches. Um, now, these little punches are £1.50. They're so cute. Look at them. They come in a little blister pack like that. Um, they're £1.50, but if you buy two, you get them £4 each. And then if you've got your discount, they obviously come in at sort of 85p. So for 85p, you can't go wrong, can you? And there's a snowman. I've got the reindeer the holly leaves and the Christmas tree but I think there's also a gingerbread man and there might be a candy cane or a stocking I can't remember do be careful if you're buying these though online because there are larger versions which aren't in the two for one pound uh, two for two pound offer so be careful that you you are going for the mini craft punch okay um and they are really cute and they've got a little a cover here so your bits don't fall out if you don't want them to um you know i did this the yesterday when i opened it yeah you just flick that up and see if i've got a little bit of scrap of something 
just a little bit of whisper white here they're really easy to use she says getting it the wrong way around and then fumbling around with it like um she doesn't know what she's doing and they punch out beautifully look at that little snowman gone i mean you could use you could make a lovely trim if you were to cut them out in a nice row and stick it on the background or you can do what I'm going to do and that is cut out the lovely little shapes to use as confetti. So I got those, so they were a lovely bargain, I felt. Very cute. And lovely to give somebody as a little gift as well if you're giving somebody a pre-Christmas crafting gift or if you wanted to um, include it in a Christmas craft kit. I also got these um, felt letter uh, numbers. Um, what I liked about these is they're advent numbers and you get number 1 to 25, I think it is. Or 24 maybe. And they're lovely, they're felt, they're red. Um, and what I liked about them is that where you've got two numbers, they're actually fastened together. They're going to be great for a little advent calendar project and they were 85p, I think, as well. Um, Yeah, they were 85p. So they're great if you're making advent calendars. Um, and then I got this gorgeous washi tape, which I think was also 85p. Let me just check. Yeah, 85p for three rolls of this. And you get three metres on each one. It's 15 millimetres wide. That's a centimetre and a half. So that's uh, just over half an inch, um, about three quarters of an inch. And you've got this cute snow, this cute reindeer here. You've got bows and Merry Christmas on this one. And then you've got snowflakes on that one. And again, that would go really nicely with Poppy Parade or Real Red if you wanted um, to use it with your Stamping Up products. And finally from Poppy Craft, I got this pack of 6 by 6 Christmas cards and envelopes which is really good quality um, and you get 50 cards and 50 envelopes they're very smooth textured um, for £2.13 that was after my discount they're already scored and the card is super smooth you know I did a haul recently from Craft Stash UK and I bought a load of cards and they were just I was raving about them I think they were two fifty for 50 or something like that um, these are just a little bit better in quality. They're really smooth. They're just they're just lovely cards. They're not so strong, um, and they're six by sixes. Now, if you don't want to do six by sixes, you can cut them down to five by fives or four by fours, or even a four by six or a five by six. You can lop the ends off. You can do whatever you want. You can shape in here, and then you can still have the background using dies or whatever. They're a really versatile card, and if you don't want to use them for cards, then it's still cheap for a load of really good cards and envelopes. The quality of the envelopes is really good. Um, again, it's just a little bit better quality than the Craft Stash UK ones. Um, and they're, they're just lovely, and you could decorate them up or whatever you wanted to do with them. So that was my final thing from hobbycraft so that's my little hobbycraft haul um, now I'm just going to show you some bits and bobs I got from the works which was more about embellishments for me than anything else um, I've got a few Christmas projects going on and so I um, grabbed some embellishments from the works now um, I haven't got the bill. They didn't put a bill and invoice in. So I can't remember how much everything is. But luckily most things are priced anyway. So that's not going to be such an issue. So starting off. I'm doing a floral themed um, swap. Um, and so I saw this. It was £1.50 for 50 sheets. Um, five, uh, ten designs. This is by Make and Create. And it's all, flo well, it's all florals. And I thought to myself why not you know for one pound fifty you can't go wrong and again i got um a 10 or was it 20 percent discount 
think I got a 20% discount from the works. This is quite, it's not very thick paper. It's like the tea room um, or the tea shop, tea room, isn't it? That we've currently got from Stampin' Up. Feels nice, nice and strong and it's a lovely texture. Lots of colours and designs to suit each other. And again, would go nicely, you know, that would go nicely with Melon Mambo. If you're like me and most of your stash is Stampin' Up and you want to use your Stampin' Up stuff with other products, which is absolutely fine, then you can see your colours in this that you're going to. Uh, it's got, Things are going to work well with Fresh Fig or Rich Raspberry. It would look lovely with that. Like I said, your Melon Mambo. There's all sorts of lovely things going on there. So that's £1.50. And that's perfect because it's kind of like an envelope quality paper. And I want to make envelopes with it. In fact, I'm just thinking, I'm just going to quickly... I think I'm just going to quickly make an envelope. And let's see what happens. Um, so I'm, I'll use a 6 by 6 so I'll do a 3 by 4 So a 2 and 5 eighths. 2 and 5 eighths punch and score. Just let's see what the quality is like. Because like I said, it is quite a flimsy paper. That wasn't anything to do with the paper. That was my um, scoreboard. My punch had got stuck. Might be time to get a new one. I've had this for a long time. Just round off the corners. It's definitely a very similar quality to... a little bit in there. I've had problems with it in the past but I thought they were resolved. Um, and then we'll just burnish the score lines. The um, punching isn't so clever but that, that's not the punch's fault. That's I mean that's not the paper's fault, that's the punch's fault. So there we go, what a beautiful, oh that's perfect for what I want, beautiful little envelope, no splitting, no cracking, no tearing, punched really nice, yeah that's perfect, so I'm happy with that, that's what I wanted it for. Right, so that was a little impromptu uh, envelope tutorial. What else I got from the works? I got these gorgeous snowflakes, which were a pound. Um, and these, well, these are glitter dot stickers. So they're little, look like little dots of glitter, but obviously they peel off in one piece. They're on like an acrylic background and they stick on. They were a quid. Um, obviously I got a discount, like I said. I got this um, glitter. This is from the Love Santa range, uh, which is an unusual sort of coloured, um, range of Christmas Christmas um, paper crafting stuff um, instead of using the traditional red and green and gold it also pops in pinks and blues and turquoises and stuff so this mini tinsel is really cute there's five by one meters of it and I'm pretty sure that this was a quid as well a pound um, let me just take some off to have a look at oh, it's so cute there's lots of it I mean I know it's I should know that what a meter is but yeah, that's going to be so nice to use on little cards and boxes. So that's gorgeous. That was I'd wanted some of this. I'd bought the Love Santa, bought some of their stuff, bought uh, some of that range for children's card kits um, for for Christmas. But <coughs> sorry, I'm I'm not very well. I don't even know this stuff. <coughs> Got cold. Um, but yeah, they hadn't. They didn't have any of this had sold out, so I'm glad that I got some. Um, like I said, it's all about trims and embellishments. I got this gorgeous silver glittery um, fabric trim for a pound, which is like a garland, trees and stars on it. That is gorgeous. Would be fantastic on cards. Gorgeous sequins. I got some um, I'm going to be doing shape cards and I'm going to be doing um, pocket letters so they're always good for that. Let's 
add a bit of shine and sparkle. I got these uh, gorgeous little gift embellishments. They're beautiful um, and they were a pound. I don't know if, um, again, these are good for using, but they're also good for popping in little card Christmas card kits. I'm just wondering, oh yeah, they've got like a little um, dot on the back to stick them on. So, oh, and they're holographs, the little gold bows are holographic and they've got a little rhinestone on. I mean, you couldn't make them for a pound, could you? They're gorgeous. Really pretty. I also got this gold and black um, sequins. I like these large sequins. These were for, for a specific project, to, again, to go with um, uh, the Broadway bound paper that I'm using uh, from Stamping Up. That's there for a specific project for that. Um, I got some gorgeous flower buttons, a pound for all of these buttons. Um, these, again, are for a specific project that I'm doing. I'm, I'm button mad. I've got, I always have tons of buttons because I do sew and crochet as well, so I use them quite a lot. Um, but yeah, they they were a bargain, a pound. They're quite brittle, but they're, they're going to be great for what I want them for anyway. And then this was £2, and I thought, wow, that is an absolute bargain. There, in here, there are 12 pieces of one metre by one centimetre um, satin ribbons. And they're all um, glittery or foiled in some way. And it, it was £2. So with my discount, it was like £1.80 or something. But there's, um, yeah, there's 12 different ribbons here. And they're just gorgeous. This one's got like a chevron on it gold chevron and this one's just got sort of like the gold glitter with a different colour of gold stitching on the edge this one's got like little bows little gold bows in it absolutely beautiful this is like a brocade absolutely gorgeous this is very similar to a stamping up ribbon it's a satin ribbon with a gold stitch trim and then you've got that in the silver as well and then you've just got the silver foiled ribbon gorgeous you've got this one which has got this white with silver stars on it um then you've got this one which is white with just silver dots on it it's beautiful sparkly you've got this one which is gray with a silver trim it's gray satin ribbon and then you've got this black satin with a gold trim it's absolutely gorgeous and then you've got this beautiful one which is really thick um it's it's like a ridged, it's like a grow grain ridged sort of ribbon, and then it's got like um, the silver foiling down the centre. It's a really rich looking ribbon, absolutely wonderful for two pound for those. That is amazing, um, and again, some of those will go lovely with uh, the project I've got in mind for that. Then also. From, while I'm on the gold theme, I suppose I'd best just get these out. These are um, photo edges, photo corners. So these are great. You get 24 of these for a pound. And these are great black and gold. Even the blacks are glittery. But again, they'll go great. Um, if you saw my recent um, scrapbooking page that I shared last Friday, last Saturday... Um, these would have been perfect for, for a project like that, but I am going to be using them in something else. Um, I got some more cards, and I can't remember how much these were, I think they were two quid or something. Um, this is a smaller pack, this is a Dovecraft pack, and this is, I can't remember if they were two pound or, they might have only been a pound, I can't remember, but there's ten trifold envelopes and cards. And these are 240 GSM, so they're nice and thick. Very soft, not as good quality, I would say, as the Hobbycraft. And the envelopes aren't as good quality. But they're good enough um, if you're making them for charity cards or cards for school or a craft fair or whatever. 
and they're trifolds and again um it just saves you a bit of hassle cutting things out you get 10 cards and envelopes i think they were a pound so with my discount they're only 80p so they're nice not a lot to say about them i got some washi tapes and these were a pound um different to the ones I got from um, Hobbycraft. These have got a deer and a Christmas tree but in a more Nordic style and then you've got the stars sort of shooting stars and then you've got the snowflakes so that's really cute then I got I think I've got too many of these I've got some of this foil trim I said it was all about embellishments and trim um, look at that sequin trim um, it's gorgeous. I've got gold and two reds and they're a pound each um, and you get six metres of that on each card. So that's really good even if you pull them off. I mean for a pound you can pull them off and just use them as sequins in shaker cards or whatever. I've got these embellishments which are wood. They're very lightweight, very thin um, and they're glittered. Let it snow. And they're so cute. I mean, one of them on a card, and that's you don't really need a lot else. A nice bit of DSP in the background, and that's all you need. So they're really cute. I like those. Um, then I got some berries. Um, these are great to use when you're wrapping, or they're great to use on, on your card projects or whatever. They're really cute and, um, you know, stick them with a few leaves and they're just going to bring something to life. Um, use them to decorate, you know, finish off boxes and things. Perfect. So they were great. They were a quid. If you're not English and you're watching, um, a quid is a pound. Then I got this gorgeous little stamp. I think this was a pound. In fact, this was much bigger than I expected it to be. I expected it to be a smaller one. But there's some uh, foliage, um, some berries and some bells. That's quite a nice one. I don't have any bell stamps. And then I got these ones. I don't even think they were a pound. Um, this is a, a wreath builder. So it's got the holly, it's got foliage, leaves, little berries, um, a little dangly bit with a bow on it. So you make up your own little wreath and I got two of these because I thought they're nice to give us a little gift or to pop in a card making kit for somebody and then I also got two of these little dies which is the wreath the holly and the bigger holly and I did I actually had some stamped out over here but they've disappeared um yeah so I've because I've tried this and it they do work really well so they're okay for just popping in cards as little racks or whatever to send to people and then finally, this was £2, and I saw this and I thought, oh, let me let me have a go with that. Um, it's a weekly planner, and I think it's about an 8 by, I think it's about 8 by 10, I'm not sure. 19 by 25 centimetres, whatever that means. And it's by Paper Place, and I just like it, <laughs> I just think it's cute. And it's just a weekly planner and there's 52 sheets. There's one for every week of the year and just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and the weekend uh, just to keep you organised every week. Um, you know, just tear off and throw away. I Absolutely, well not throw away, recycle. It's a nice little desk pad, £2. Lovely again as a little stocking filler for somebody who so likes that's that. Um So that's everything that I got um, from the works. And that's my hauling again done for so this week. So take care and I'll see you again soon. Um, the weekend's coming so it's going to be card making challenges tomorrow and Christmas card for Joy Sets on Sunday and the Back to a Crochet Project on Monday and then next Wednesday will be my 3D project paper crafting and um, then we're back on to Friday and I might have a haul, I might not. Um, so yeah, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.